Hello again. My name is Brian Kendrick. I'm the school counselor for sixth grade and Phoenix, the alternative school, here on the campus of Luffin County Middle School. One of the topics we cover in classroom guidance each fall is study skills and organization. And I've shown you uh, an example of an organized locker and a disorganized locker. Now I'm going to show you some examples of well-organized book bags so that uh, students and parents can know how to organize and know how to prepare before school starts and as well as throughout the year. Now here we have a book bag that is well organized. You see there's a water bottle uh, in the pocket there. Uh, the student has a glass case with a cute little flower on the other side. And then uh, she has her lunch bag here, clothes in this compartment, some books in this compartment, uh, pencil case, pen and pencils, Anna Montana, always a winner, and then uh, some other items here. And then here is her notebook, which is organized by subject. I'll hold it up so you can see it. Social studies, math, language, arts, science, homework, uh, I'm not sure what that is, studying, tests, and papers, loose papers. So she has a category for each tab. And you can see that all of the papers have holes punched, or most of them do at least, and are very, very organized. And that's the goal we are shooting for. She also has an extra paper in the back in case she runs out of paper. Now you can either have a notebook with tabs for each subject or you can have a notebook for each subject. This student has a notebook for social studies, a notebook for language arts, there's her daily grammar practice, uh, a notebook for math, that's her math workbook on the front there, and then a notebook for science as well. Uh, so these are very good examples, parents and students, of uh, notebooks and very good ways to be organized. Uh, and I would encourage every student uh, who is coming to sixth grade uh, to go out with your parent and buy these things so that you'll be prepared when school gets here. There are other tips on uh, study skills and organization found on the guidance page of our LCMS, Lumpkin County Middle School website, uh, which you can look at and in detail. Uh, there are also uh, classroom guidance, lessons, PowerPoints uh, that we do with students in the fall on study skills and organization. This is Brian Kendrick, school counselor, Lumpkin County Middle School. Thank you.